Well, hello, everybody. Good to have you here today. Hello. Hi. Let's do introductions first. And you are? I am Cadence. Good to meet you, Cadence. And you are? I'm Luna. And just so you know, if anyone needs food on this trip, I got potatoes. Oh, I do. I could use some food. Okay. Excellent. Never know when you're going to need some food. I have enough food. Thank you. And you are? (laughs) Bessie. Bessie. So we have uh, uh, Cadence, and we have Bessie, and we have Luna. Great to have you here today. Well, we have an adventure to do. This is our first lesson in uh, our Lessons for Galatians. Ooh. First one. Wow. So let's check out what we have here. We have a little home. There's the a little guy man. Over here. Hello, little man. He's taller well, than all of us. <laughs> yeah. It looks like he's brainless. He yeah. has a very small Wait. home. Well, this is my friend Stuart, and Stuart will be helping us out with each point of the lessons as we move forward. <laughs> and let's see what he says here. <coughs> it says, "Welcome to my home. I'm working on discovering the forgotten truths. I need your help. Forgotten truths. I wonder what, what are that's those all about. Supposed to be." Let's see. Well, there's a book over here. Why don't we start with that? Maybe that'll help us know more about these forgotten truths. Let's check this book out. City Lore. In a time long forgotten, the northern city stood as a bastion of truth, unity, and peace. The keys of truth, revered by its people, were enshrined within the great citadel, safeguarded by the wise who read and memorized its ancient teachings. That sounds interesting. Yet, as the years went by, the people's reverence for the keys began to wane, and with it the citadel's defenses weakened. In the dark of night, the undead crept in, and the once great citadel was overrun. The people's lives were forever changed. In the absence of truth, they became consumed by arrogance, jealousy, and greed. They no longer looked out for their fellow citizens, instead provoking and belittling one another at every turn. And perhaps most startling of all, they began to worship strange creatures imbued with explosive powers that threatened to tear the city apart. Who is willing to help seek out the lost keys of truth and save the city from the darkness? Ah, that sounds like some good lore. I bet you those explosive creepers, I mean, creatures, are creepers. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) You totally messed up. I gave it away before I even said it. That that was (laughs) Explosive creatures if we can. All right. Let's see. Well, looks like if we find some truths, we can stick it in here. Currently, there are no truths in there. Hey, but this as looks we... like a puzzle over here. What, you, what do you see? A puzzle. Oh, yeah, sure does. Let's see. Promise key, true story key, prophecy key. Maybe we can learn some more by looking inside of here. I can't go inside. All right. Well, this is lesson number one. If God says it, it will happen. Now, we're going to read a lot from the Bible because that's where we find our truths. So Galatians chapter 1, verse 6 and 7 in the ESV, we'll start reading from there. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. Not that there is another one, but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. Yeah, well, that sounds like what happened to our city. They used to believe in the gospel, in the truths, but now they're starting to, they're starting to believe these weird creatures, idols. Yeah, now they're just mean. All right. <laughs> okay. Who wants to do a good Stuart impersonation here? You should do it. You want? Yeah. My my ability to impersonate. Maybe we'll have our Ill- illustrious narrator do it. Hello. Welcome to my humble home. Would you be willing to help me? (laughs) I am trying to open this portal, but I need three keys. I found some compasses that will point you to the key locations. Will you help me get the keys and open the portal? The compasses are in the barrel by the door. Okay. Okay, so these are the three keys. This doesn't really look like a portal. looks more like a door. Okay. Well, I guess we'll find oh, that out. Well, so anybody find any compasses um, anywhere? Yes, it's right next to the door, like you said. Hey, there's like in the barrel. Whoa. There's okay. a bunch of Oh, in the barrel over there? <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, I saw somebody take a sword. <laughs> Luna, <laughs> I got the shield. All right. So it looks like we got Arnold and we got Montgomery and Derek. Who would name a compass that? Looks like I they're finders. Of some kind. Uh-huh. Maybe All they right. point in the direction. Yeah, it looks like they're pointing out that way. Okay. 
What is oh, a book? Here. There's a book. There's. Oh, you there's... found a book? Yeah, Woo! it says missing, missing word. Missing word. All right, let's read this. When you see a missing word book, get ready with your Bibles to find the missing word. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. When we find missing word books, we're going to see who can find the missing word the fastest. Now, you can't say the missing word until after we finish reading the whole verse, okay? okay. The whole so, verse? The whole verse. Oh, okay. okay, so I can't so, shout it out. Yeah, just, well, you can shout oh, it out when no. we get through, if you find it fast enough, because everybody's going to be looking. You guys so, are slow. I'm going to From wait. what I understand, all these verses are, are going to be from the book of Galati- Galatians, so maybe keep your Bibles open <laughs> there. Okay. All right, let's go off in this direction. Looks like this first compass is pointing us over here. You have a compass? Oh, yeah. Now, it's going off this way. Y'all following? Hello? No. Yeah, we're Y'all following. No, okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, we found one. Here we go. Oh, 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 I can't get to it. There we go. Galatians 1, six. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning... I think that's supposed... Uh, it looks like we have two, two words a. missing here. That's two like A. Three. <laughs> Three words missing two here. Two A How different. Two A different. Okay, you found it. Yeah. Two A different. Wow. Crossbow. Okay. All right. So I'm astonished that you. Oh, this is the same verse that we just read earlier. Yep. Okay. That's so why like... we knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that made it very easy. Uh, all right. Well, as we go here, anybody know what the word gospel means? Good news. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good news. Okay. What are some good news that you've heard of before? The cliche Jesus, obviously. Cliche. It's the <laughs> cliche. best. Uh, cliche, yeah. It's. Well, what you, about you know. Jesus is good news? That's not cliche. He died on the cross and saved us from our sins. Okay. Well, that sounds really good. Okay, so we have... It's pointing us this way, but we have another missing word book here. Aha! Galatians 1.7 Not that there is another one, but there are some who trouble you and want to... Blank the gospel of Christ. What's the word? Distort. This was also in the Dis- other one. Distort. Distort. Yeah. Distort. <laughs> Twice in a row. This one's pretty easy. Okay. So the gospel of Christ, the good news of Christ. Well, that's definitely an amazing thing. The good news of Christ is that he came, he died for our sins, and he rose again uh, three days later. later. That is an amazing truth. But it sounds like Okay, who wrote the book of Galatians? Anybody Paul. know? Paul. Yeah, and it sounds like he's warning us that some people are distorting. Ooh, like twisting or making it... Just warping. Like, yeah, warping. Yeah. I mean, just look at Genesis. They're saying different things in place of the things that were actually in the Bible. Yeah. Well... So that's probably why this city has been starting to, to fall into jealousy and arrogance and all that, it's because they've gotten away from that those truths. Okay. Well, well not the goats. The goats are good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and probably that sheep over there. Yeah. No, not the Chickens. sheep, the goats. All right, well, the the compass is pointing us to this guy. Who's Hello, this guy. This guy. He's going to get hit in the face. Oh. This must be Arnold. Let's see if this is Arnold. Sure is. Okay. Looking for the promise key? I promise it is in the windmill attic. I double, triple promise. Nah, it that sounds very suspect. That is so jinxing yeah. it. Uh, that, no. I don't know I, about I don't that promise. Uh-uh. Where, where are you going? Arnold, okay, you're he, a liar. It's in the windmill. He said it was in here upstairs. Oh my goodness, these, are really, these stairs are terrifying. Oh my word. <laughs> oh my <laughs> yeah, there's goodness. no railing. <laughs> ah! All right, so he said it was up here, right? That's what he I promised? I found a chest. We're trying. Okay, there's so. There's nothing in the chest. Anything? Nope, nothing in there. What about in here? Nothing in there. Just a bed. Under the bed. Look high, look low. Is it under here? Maybe. That's not no. my I'm kind of logic. Look out the window. Out. It's it's not there. Look, okay. Of course, it's well, not there. <laughs> seems like he did not tell us the truth. Have mm. any of you all ever have somebody make you a promise and then they didn't tell the truth? Um. What about the yeah. house? How does that make you feel? Um. It makes me feel. Um. Yes. This um. is just sad. It makes me feel um. <laughs> it makes you feel um? Yes. It makes hey, me yo. feel like they lied to me. <laughs> There's a trap door over here. Wait, what? Uh, oh, I found something. Oh, cool. Okay. What? Secret passageway. The... Uh, uh, I can't get down there. Whoa. Ah, I wonder if this is what he was trying to hide. 
Okay, well, we have something here. We have five signs. Looks like these are the verses in the Bible. Interesting. And they're colored. And then we have three different puzzles here. I can't break the door. What? Mm. And you have a door? <laughs> I can't break it. <laughs> well, let's see here. So what do you think we should do? Anybody I have think, any ideas? I think we have to like uh, search up these verses. And once we find it, we have to see if any of them go along with the words that are on the signs above these color codes. And if they do, then whatever color that verse reference was, we match it. Well, wow. that's very smart. Yeah, Arrow pointer. That makes All right, let's try this sense. out. Who, who can <laughs> find Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6? I've got it. Okay. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your stri- make straight your paths. Okay, does that seem like it fit any of these? Um, um, probably the first one. The, this, yeah, it looks what like color it fits was it? What color? Okay, trust in me. It was pink. With all your heart, and oh, we'll guide you. Okay, it was pink. All right, <laughs> well, that's that's a good idea. Didn't do anything to the door. Maybe we need to find some more. Okay, let's read Galatians, Galatians chapter six, verse nine. Anybody find that verse? I got it. Okay, read it. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. Okay, that sounds like a really good verse too. We shouldn't stop doing good even if we're sad about doing good or tired of doing good or angry about doing good. or. It's not right here. None of these? Yeah. That's a good truth, but it doesn't seem like it matches any of these signs. Okay, let's try the next one. Hebrews 13.5. What do you have there? Anybody find that one? No. <laughs> I'm I'm looking. I got it. Okay. What do you what do you have? Keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have, for he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Does that match any of these two? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which one? The first one. Okay. I will yeah. Abandon. That kind of fits that. All right. The door open? No. Nope. No door. Okay. What about Luke 12:31? What do we have there? Luke 12:31. Inside, seek his kingdom, and these things will be added to you. Wow, you're quick. I know. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, seek his kingdom, and these things will be added to you. Does that fit this one? I am the Lord your God, and I never change? No. It's a good verse, but it doesn't seem like it fits. Okay, what about this one? Malachi 3, six. For I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore, you, O children of Jacob, oh, are yeah, not that, consumed. That matches. That definitely matches. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it open. worked. Yeah. Oh. Excellent. There's a Good chest. Good job, everybody. A chest. Get out of my head. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like there's a book. It by says Peter. Promise Key by Peter. Let's check this book out. You ready? All right. It says The Promise Key, 2 Peter 3, 9. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promises. As some count slowness, but is patient towards you, not willing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Well, that's a really good truth. So we had, who is it out here? We had Arnold. 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 And Arnold told us a lie. He's a liar. He, he just barely met us and he lied to us. The boy's a what, liar. What in the world what is, is out this? here? <laughs> Well, we have some strangeness out here. Kelp. Wait, what is it? Can I have it? Can I have it? You can eat it. Yeah, I can give you the kelp. There you go. Yeah, it move yourself. All right. Well, I don't know why he lied to us, but one thing I know for true, this verse says that God will never lie. So that's an amazing promise. We can always, always, always trust in God's promises. Uh Uh-huh. Unlike Arnold. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, probably, Mr. Arnold. I don't know why you lied. But... I don't know why he wants it. He doesn't care about it. All right. Well, it. the next one is pointing off this direction. Where? It's kind of oh, this way. way. Don't hit the ship. Okay. Yeah, it's to see here. It looks um, like there's a farm and there's a bunch of animals. Maybe that guy over there. Oh, look at that. Ooh. He looks suspicious as well. Do <laughs> he suspicious? I'm oh. sure this is a good guy. Oh, no. I mean... Oh, dear. Hopefully. The last guy was not. Okay, so let's see. Is this Montgomery? Yep. It sure is. Okay, who can read... Who can do their best Montgomery impersonation? I shall. Okay. I had a sheep named Ben. <laughs> he stole all of my clothes, and while chewing on them, they messed with his brain. 
He thought he could fly. I watched him. He jumped off the cliff back there and flew to the other side. What? It was amazing. You should have seen it. Uh-huh. Yeah, that sounds magical. <laughs> that sounds you like know a what? Tell. I wonder if I, I wonder if the no, sheep No, don't hurt the sheep. What are fly, you doing? Now, fly. Fly. No. No. <laughs> Who cares about a sheep? Hey, look, it flew this, for a second. No, 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 no. Even oh. though he. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't give me oh. food. He poofed away. Aw. Well, duh. It did fly for a second, though, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think any sheep are going to be flying off that cliff over there, so I don't Hi know job. what he was talking about. Oh, look at this. What do you it's have? It's a missing word. Oh, it's a missing word book. What? Here we go. Get your Bibles out. I don't have you my be Bible. Quick. Here we go. Galatians 1.11. For I would have you know, brothers, that the gospel that was blanked by me is not man's gospel. Preached. Oh, you are quick. Yes, preached is not, uh, by me, is not man's gospel. Mm. So this good news about Jesus Christ was not like, was not like this guy's, Montgomery's weird tall tell over there. Well, yeah. But the stories in the Bible are true stories, especially the story about Jesus Christ and the gospel. Okay. Well, should we go down there? It looks yes. Kind of... <gasps> Don't hit my donkey. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. This place is weird. What you found something down here? It's, it's a, a cave. It's a it's a cave. I'm getting Spooky. my sword out. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't have anything. Okay, let me know. I'm a little afraid, so let me know if you find anything. Weirdo. There's, well, there's a few torches. There's this way. There's yeah, it's kind of lit up. A at sign. Least. Oh my word! It's Second here. Kings. I can't four. read though. Wow. What you found something? It says Second Kings Four. It, it's like three tunnel things. What? One is longer and it has. Design. I don't think that's oh, important there we go. part. Second oh, Kings. Oh my word! I do not think that is the okay. important part. What is this? Well, you found. So- where, where'd you Whoa. go? Oh. Now this is a puzzle. Another yeah, puzzle. look at that. Oh boy. Oh, there's the door we got to open. What yeah. in the world? How in the world are we going to get by this puzzle? Oh, maybe maybe the reference back there had something to do with it. That's a good idea. Okay. Well, has something to Somebody do with find it. Oh, Second Kings chapter four. And who do we have here? We have Jonah and the whale. Ehud. Ehud the judge. Anybody heard of the story of Ehud? I have. No. Yeah? Tell me one thing about the story of Ehud. He's a judge. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, a judge for who? Let's see, we have Elisha. Okay. David and Goliath. Oh, I love that story. And Daniel in the lion's den. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Second Kings chapter 4. Anybody see what that story is about? It says it's about Elisha and the widow's oil. Yeah, it has a lot of stuff about Elisha. Ah, There's like numbers on yes. signs over on the side here. Maybe they have something to do with it. Number one. Okay. It one, goes. two, three. One Who's Elisha. Huh. Okay. Uh. Oh, I'm over here to well, move. Should we, should we like do what? all of them? Wait, like it says this? Daniel 6. Should we, oh, like, it moved. Should we like do all of them? Look, look at Daniel six. It changed. No, it didn't work. Now P- put all those levers back. Oh, what? Okay, I'll what put them back. What do you people do? Did that do anything? Yeah, it's e- back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so just number one. Okay, cool. It says Daniel yeah. six. Okay, so you're saying this changed over here? Ugh. All I see is a. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it was over there. Now it's there. Okay, that's cool. And then it's gonna be in the third spot, probably. Okay. Daniel 6. Well, that one's easy. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> obviously it's Daniel. Daniel. It's Daniel. Okay, well, who can tell me something about Daniel in the lion's den? He wasn't eaten by lions. Yeah. <laughs> so, they had a lion's den, and the decree that they made was that you had to worship the king only for 30 days. Now, that sounds very much like this story, where they twisted it. Instead of believing in God, they had him believe in the king. Doesn't sound like a good idea. Okay, then what happened? This. So Daniel didn't abide to it because, first of all, he only believes in God. So he mm. prayed to God that day for like three times, I think, maybe. And some people caught him praying, and then they brought him to the king, and he got thrown in the lion's den and didn't die the next day. Okay. So, so God saved him from the mouths of the lions, right? Yeah. I guess those lions just weren't hungry, right? No. An angel came and shut their mouths shut because they're mean. <laughs> well, how do we know the lions weren't just not hungry? They don't. Because they, they were eat. hungry. How do we know? 
Because it said they were hungry. God, <laughs> God is God. He can close well, their stomachs. I'll tell you the, the reason. Um, as soon as Daniel came out, they took the, the people who slandered uh, Daniel and threw them in. And the lions ate them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, they were definitely hungry lions. Yeah, wow. Well, the door still isn't open. So um, there's a changed, third row. It changed again. Oh, okay, changed. Let's yeah. go check it out. It said Jonah one. Okay, not there, not there. Jonah one. Okay, cool. It's pretty obvious what that one's. Oh uh, yeah, another. Yeah. This puzzle looked like it was intimidating, Jonah but it was actually and really y'all are just the bad. Whale. Jonah and the well. So what? That one up there. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it opened. It opened. Wow. Yo. Excellent. And guess what it is? Another truth key. True story key by Peter. Another book. Another verse by Peter. Who is this Peter? This. Well, I think Peter wrote Second Peter and First Peter. Aha. Uh-huh. Wasn't he a right. disciple? I'm gonna have. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna have the narrator read this one. Second Peter one sixteen. For we did not follow cleverly de- devised myths. When we made known to you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. Ah, oh, very true. So these weren't f- fairy tales that they just kind of pulled out of nowhere. Yeah, like that Montgomery guy. <laughs> Flying <laughs> Ben. Boy, he... Well, I, I, mean, I enjoy telling false. tall tales. The sheep but, did uh, fly for a little bit. <laughs> just a tad. I don't even think yeah. there's a sheep named Ben. <laughs> we gotta find Weirdos. One. But the story of Jesus Christ is a true story. And Peter was even saying, I saw it. I saw the life of Jesus. I lived with him. Uh, We did things together. And I saw him die. I saw him buried. I saw him raised from the dead. He was an eyewitness. And matter of fact, all of these stories in the Bible, Jonah and the well, Ehud, uh, Elisha, David and Goliath, Daniel in the lion's den, they were all true stories. Yeah, well, Montgomery said he saw Ben fly. Yeah, well, that one at least is not in the Bible. He was an eyewitness. Yeah. I guess we go out, huh? Yeah. Okay. Lead need the way. more than one witness for that. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> in the Bible, they said they needed at least two witnesses, but they there were also tw- false witnesses, too. They had 12 witnesses. Yeah, that can witnesses. happen. Yeah, that's what happened to Jesus. They had two false witnesses uh, during when they were accusing Jesus of things. <gasps> There's a donkey. All right, let's see here. Well, we got one more compass. Looks like it's pointing off that direction. All right, let's go back over this way. Uh-huh. Bye, Montgomery. Goodbye. Ah, all the sheep are escaping. I oh, yeah, close the gate behind you. He don't please. care. Nah, we'll just leave it open. <laughs> Montgomery. Was... Good grief. We want to be good neighbors. <laughs> we let Ben go away. <laughs> we don't want to fall victim to uh, uh, not following the gospel ourselves. All right, let's see. Yeah, kind of point the seat pointing off this direction. Y'all are going the right way. Maybe we should have started here. Maybe up there, that lodge up there. What do you think? Maybe. Okay, how do we get up there? We don't. Run. Stairs up here, and oh. a missing word. Oh, 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 another missing word. Oh, book. Wait, 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 I'm gonna have to eat here soon. Galatians one twelve. For I did not receive it from any man. Nor was I taught it, but I received it through a blank of Jesus Christ. Revelation. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, Revelation. Revelation. Do you have these just memorized? Christ. Wow, you are fast. No, I'm just good with the Bible. <laughs> okay. Bible. So again, <laughs> Montgomery over there, he just kind of made up a story. But all the truths in the Bible are, are given by revelation of Christ. Especially, what's his name? The d- Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Paul was talking about. Yes, very good. Well, you can What's literally see everything okay. from up here. Okay, that's cool. No, you're just blind. Well, this would be a fun place to live. No, it wouldn't. You would fall and break your neck. <laughs> <laughs> don't. No faith in my ability to not fall over. Oh, oh, oh there's nice. there's Derek. Uh-oh. Oh, you found him? Yeah. He yep, looks like a nerd. Why does he look okay, like, what is he, what he holding? He looks like a scientist. No, he looks like a nerd. <laughs> like a nerdy scientist. Here he has look. a pencil in his hair. You want a flower? Okay. Who can read Derek here? Read it like a nerd. Who can read it like mm. a nerd? Oh, I'm good at that. Okay, do it. Can you help me open that door? <laughs> if I can predict the lightning strikes, the energy from the lightning will open the door. Very good. Okay, so what Why is that? in the world what, do I have a flower? What door is he talking about exactly? Because there's a ton of them. I don't know. Oh, um, the obvious door that's over here. Well, yeah, it's okay. pretty flower. obvious. I don't like, know what you people are doing. You say it's an obvious door? It has oh. a sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's oh. an obvious door. I think it's pretty obvious. All right. Why well, would you throw here. away my flower? Well, it looks like if a lightning strikes, it'll hit that red stone. 
And yeah, looks like it'll open the door. Hmm. Okay, I think we can do this. Let's see. How do we summon lightning here? Oh, oh! what did you do? It worked. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, there's a button. There's a button. <laughs> there's uh, a lightning. Okay, too. I'm gonna I'm gonna press it again. Okay, well it. Uh, okay. Press it again. Looks like we gotta predict the lightning. Yeah. Wait, what are you pushing over there? Buttons. Oh, okay. So, oh, no, the door opened. I didn't get in. Oh, okay. So we gotta predict. Okay, so which one do you think it's going to be? Uh, one. Number one. Three. Okay. No, three, three. Three. Okay. Well, it was, it was three. Oh, oh, we didn't wow. change the button. Okay, try, try three again. Okay, I'll push it. No, nope, it was one that time. Boy, Y'all are predicting just bad. is really hard. Okay, this is number two. Let's try it. Nah. No, I didn't see which one it was. It's not gonna I'm work. Not seeing it. It's not working. Boy, this is really hard. Um, okay, why don't you? Why don't you go up there? Maybe you can see something. Go, come up this way. There. Stand up here. Maybe no. we can predict it up here. There's a. There's. Yeah. There. Why don't you come up here? Stand I'm up in. Here, see if you can. I'm in. It. I'm in. She found okay. something. Wait, wait. I'm in. There's a secret door. How did you get in there? <laughs> There's a oh secret God, there door. Is. There is. There's there a secret door. Go oh, to the what? other side. There's it, a secret door. It, it literally says secret door <laughs> right here. And it's, it's not a, oh That's not very goodness. secret if you what put a sign world? up that says secret door. It's a prophecy key. Y'all are just bad. <laughs> There's a prophecy key down here. Did you find something? Yeah. Ugh. All right. He's trying to kill this thing. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, oh. I'm be careful on the rails here. Prophecy key. All right. Let's see what this says. The prophecy key. First Thessalonians <laughs> chapter four verse sixteen. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Ah, see now this is a promise that hasn't happened yet, but like all the promises in the Bible, if God says it It will happen. It will happen. Yes. Ah, uh, so Wow, do you see how hard it was to predict out here? Okay, I gotta eat something real quick. I'm going slow. I'm starving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's try this one more time out here. Let's see if let, let's see if we can predict this really good here. I'm gonna go up top and see if it. No, I'm uh, going up top. You're gonna go up top. Okay. Yeah. And okay, I'm gonna. I think number one. Okay, let's try number one. Oh! Oh, 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 oh no! No! <laughs> Kato! <laughs> No! Oh, she gonna die. Are you okay? Are you okay? Wait. Okay, you could, next time that happens, you can run to the water out there. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did it. I did it. Oh, no! Who's up there? Who is that oh. guy? Oh, my goodness. Kill him. Kill ah. it. Kill it. No, no, we don't kill Wait. people. What are you talking about? Whoa. He's not a person. Whoa. What are you talking about? He flew about? away. Whoa. He yeah, that's wings. a vulture, my guy. He had wings. He had wings. Okay, we that was kind of weird. I don't know what that oh, was. Oh, there's kelp everywhere. <laughs> what in is the world? Is that where the kelp was coming from? What? Oh, <laughs> it's a vulture. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, be careful here. I don't know what that was. That I don't was know. Crazy. I thought I saw a hint of blue. Oh. Okay. Well, we got all the keys. Let's make our way back. Okay. So the first key was promise key. Yep. So one, we should always keep our promises, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Unlike Arnold. Yeah. Uh, but one thing we know about God is what he always keeps his, his promises. promises. Very good. Then we have true story. Where are you key. people going? Where are we going? I have no idea. Okay, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> I'm okay. Kaden, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boy, if we went the wrong way, we'd have a tall. T Whoa! Look at that down there. We should go down there sometime. I Don't think we're going to go down there next lesson, just so you know. Whoa. That'll be fun. It looks scary to me. You're I don't a wimp. know what version of fun you have. You're a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have, okay, so we know all the stories in the Bible are true. And then we have the prophecy key. If God, okay, let's place these keys on there. So prophecy key, what's a prophecy again? It's uh, telling the future story accurately. Telling. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> telling, uh, telling the future accurately. Yeah. Okay, and who's the only one that can tell the future God. accurately? God right. can. Yeah, just like we were trying to predict lightning, we might be right on occasion. Yeah. Like if you were to say, I'm going to eat no, dinner today. That was not a prophecy, yeah. that was a guess. <laughs> and luck. All right, I'm going to put this in. Let's see what happens. It's a oh, door! That, it was, told you. that was quick. <laughs> okay, let's check this area out. 
Ooh, There's spooky. The passage down spooky. here. Wow. Oh, it glows. That ooh, that does look very spooky what is down this? here. Wow. It looks cool. Very dark. Okay, what do we have here? It doesn't do anything. Citadel. <laughs> teleportation Ew, platform. Teleportation platform. I feel like there should be like, lava or something right here because it's super dark. That is dark. Okay, it looks like we got to find an, an activation key. And then maybe it'll transport us to the Citadel? Maybe. Ooh. I don't want to go to the That's Citadel. that place that was overrun, so we'll have to be super careful when we go there. I yeah. want to see undead zombies. Bro. It'll be fun. <laughs> no. All right. Well, next lesson, we're going to try to see if we can find this activation key. Y'all did great. Thank you so much for joining joining us. Thank you for having us. Thank yeah. you. For tuning right. in. That was very strange. All right. Well, I'm going to go, go say bye to Ar uh, Stewie. Stuart over here. Did you almost just call him Goodbye, Arnold? Ar <laughs> How dare Arnold. you? Arnold is a liar. <laughs> bye, Stewie. Okay. Goodbye. See you all later. Bye. bye. bye.